friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Today, you're gonna come along with me as I get this kitchen clean. We had a really fun dinner tonight. I'm gonna sweep and mop the floor. So come along with me tonight as I clean my kitchen. Hopefully this will help motivate you. Ready? Aprons on, let's go. Well, I'm starting to clean up the kitchen. I am a messy cook. I will be the first to admit that. Especially with the dinner that I made tonight. You'll be seeing that in just a minute. So now I am getting the first load into the dishwasher. And yes, my dishwasher does need to be basically hammered into the counter. My father-in-law is gonna be working on that. He was waiting for a certain piece to come in. Mmm, do you see that in the center of the table? That is sweet and sour chicken. One of our favorite meals. I also served it up with some sauteed cabbage. I just shred up the cabbage, put some olive oil in the pan, salt, pepper, this vegetable seasoning that I like, some garlic salt, it's delicious. And then we used our air fryer tonight for some egg rolls that I recently purchased at Costco. They're delicious. Back into the kitchen and putting the leftovers away. I love making sweet and sour chicken for my family, but it is a process. I cut my chicken into cubes, dip them in some egg mixture with some garlic salt, and then dip it into cornstarch, and then I fry those up. And I chop up some onions and peppers and some pineapple together, and then throw it all in a pan, and then I make the sweet and sour sauce. And it's vinegar, ketchup, sugar, you can use honey, soy sauce, and I put some cornstarch in that and as well, and it thickens up, and it's so good. It can get messy making it, but oh, it's so worth it. A lot of you have tried the recipe and have enjoyed it, and I love hearing about it. So if you would like the recipe, it's down below. I am cold, it is very cold out. We have snow, so I'm making some hot tea. And now I'm putting that sweet and sour chicken away. This won't even last like through tomorrow, it'll be eaten. It's so good. So the air fryer Derek's gonna clean out. I haven't really watched him on how he cleans it out, but I'll be sharing some recipes soon on how to use your air fryer. We are really enjoying it. And we did the egg rolls in there tonight and just got them all crispy. They were awesome, way better than the oven. I think this was the first time I made sweet and sour chicken since moving here. So it's been a long time since we've had it. And the reason too is because it is a lot of sugar. Like I said, you can cut the three fourths cup sugar or honey but I'm gonna definitely experiment with it with some monk fruit. My mother-in-law uses monk fruit a lot and so I'm gonna play around with it, but it is seriously so good. But between the rice and the sugar, cause I double my sauce, I mean, it'll definitely get your blood sugars up, but ooh, it is so good.
It seems like the whole time the ground feels a little bit shaky. And lastly, we're gonna get to the floors. Sometimes I'll sweep, but I really love just using this vacuum. I grabbed it at Walmart, and it does a really good job picking up things. So I'm just going to vacuum the floors and then give them a, a good mopping. I'm using the Bonamop and I like their pads that are already wet. They come ready for you. It just makes it easy. Sometimes I'll use their spray with their mop pads or I'll use my Norwax mop. But for times just something really quick, I really do like their ready to go pads. There you have it, clean, ready for tomorrow. Well friends, it took one hour to get the kitchen clean. I think it's 8.58 right now or something like that. It took an hour, but it's all good. Pots and pans are done. I'll put them away in the morning. <laughs> and the floor's swept, dishwasher's running, floor's mopped, and we are ready to start a new day tomorrow. One of the boys had this zone today. They did a good job keeping it up. Things got put in the sink, so I had some things to do there, but all in all, a great day. Usually it doesn't take this long, but I had a lot of pots and pans from the sweet and sour chicken and two from yesterday. So all in all, good day. Um, I hope you're staying warm, especially here in the United States. Texas, you're probably not even seeing this. Uh, I want you guys to know you're in our thoughts and prayers. We're wishing you warm wishes. Hope that things can get fixed and um, just know that we're here for you. We're thinking of you and praying for you. So stay warm. All right, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you soon. Bye.